Okay, so I want you to tell us the story of you, Jerry, John, and Mark when you guys went to Vegas and you guys were at the, the roof of uh, Caesar's Palace. You guys were making the toast. Um, did anybody get roofied? Um, we think that Jerry bought some stuff that, that had, had roofies in it because, you know, we couldn't find John the whole time. And, and I mean, Mark had a tooth missing. It was, it was, it was crazy. It was a good time. <laughs> I love that thumbnail. Bro. Walking drunk somehow. Like it was, it was a good time. I, you know, I've never been to Vegas and, you know, I prefer like to go to Tampa. Like that's my favorite place to go to, but we're definitely going to make a trip out to Vegas. Jerry did ask if it was the real Caesar's Palace, if Caesar lived there. You know, it was it was pretty embarrassing, but that's Jerry. He was looking for the payphone banks too. <laughs> his, his pay his pager wasn't working. It was it was a sad situation. He didn't have he didn't have good service. <laughs> Tell us what your biggest win is, obviously followed up by your biggest loss. Biggest win on video poker was twenty thousand. Uh, I hit a royal flush on a five dollar denom game at the Golden Nugget. Um, my biggest slot hit was $58,101 on a lightning link game at the gold nugget. And my biggest loss was the first time that John and I went to Tampa and, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, I was broke before John even made it to the floor. Wow. Was, was that the, the slot tournament you, you guys no, went to? The first, the first trip that we went, um, we met East coast slots down there and I was playing diamond queen and I wasn't even filming yet. And I started playing it and I put a thousand in and another thousand in and another thousand in and another thousand in. And then East coast finally came up to me and we, we finally linked up and he's like, you ready to go? And I'm like, ready to go. I'm like I only brought five grand with me. Like I only have a thousand dollars left. Like where the fuck are we going? Like I got to go to the bank. You know what I mean? Like, it was, <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was bad the first time down there, but the second time we went down there, we, we kicked ass pretty good. What's your style of, of play? It really depends on um, who I go with and who else is there. Um, I've had probably, I don't know, 15 trips with Easy Life, and I think we filmed four of them. And, I, and then three of them were live streams. You know, every time I go to with John, it's if it's him and I there, it's strictly business. It's strictly work. Now, don't get me wrong. We're having a good time. We're busting balls. We're going to dinner. We're getting drunk. We're having fun. You know, I mean, we're having a good time. And then, you know, when when Jerry and Mark that Mark understands, you know, I mean, Jerry is he yells at us because we're not having fun because we're trying to film, you know, and it gets to the point where, like, I, I totally see where John's coming from. Like, this is his business. This is what he does. Like he's not putting money in the machine unless it's being filmed. Yeah. So, you know, and, and I go, you know, to the casino a lot just to decompress from a crazy week of, you know, doing what I'm dealing with. So, but you know, it's, we, we have a good time either way. What advice would you give somebody that wanted to start out? <clears throat> I mean, just do a little bit of research, you know, learn the machines that you're going to play. You know what I mean? Like, I'll go somewhere and, and it'll be strictly a video poker trip, but I'll sit down on the machine and they're just not worth playing. You know what I mean? Like you have no chance of winning in the long run. Like you might sit down and hit something and, you know, get lucky, but you know, really, if you really want to play, you know, there's a lot of programs like video poker.com, uh, the wizard of odds, you know, win poker. Like these are all they you can learn how to play the game you know what i mean you can learn how to read the machine like what the payouts are like is it worth playing what the payback percentage is you know but i mean if you're just gonna go have fun like you know just go have fun but if you're gonna play like to seriously play like because you can give up a big advantage if you're playing the wrong machines and you and you don't know how to play how often are you guys in atlantic city um i'm there a lot um my my AC schedule pretty much depends on Easy Life. If he's there, uh, you know, every weekend. I mean, we went a couple months. We were there every weekend. But uh, the big trips that I do uh, when John and I go down there, maybe, you know, once a month if we're lucky, once every couple of months. And that's why it's so important for us to get to film while we're there. Because when we go, we want to get 10 to 15 videos each for yeah. that trip, enough to last us a couple weeks until we can get, you know what I mean? What do you do? What What do you do for enjoyment outside of the casino? Um, uh, whatever I can at the time. I play, you know, a lot of video games with my kids. Um, you know, we're in the pool in the summertime. You know what I mean? Uh, 
that's that's pretty much it. I just hang out with the family. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm I'm pretty simple. Like we don't need you know nothing extravagant. We go on vacations when we can. We go to Universal. We go to Disney. But just sitting at home and hanging out with the fam. You know what I mean? How do you feel about you know the the Dragon Links, the Dragon Cash, Lightning Links versus the Three Whittle Games? So personally, um, and you know I'll catch smoke from this. I hate the fucking Three Whittle Games. I hate them. I hate the three real games. They're boring. You know, I like top dollar. I like pinball. Uh, something that has to have a bonus. You know what I mean? I, okay. I just don't. The enjoyment factor for me on the three real games is just not there. I like the the link games, the bonus games, the crazy shit that you don't know what's going on. And, and, and you win the bonus out of nowhere. But, you know, unfortunately, though, when we post those videos, they don't get a lot of views. You know what I mean? Like you could, we could win a million dollars and it wouldn't get as many views as us losing $10,000 on Tabasco. How did you go from video poker to slots? Uh, like I said, I was looking on YouTube um, for something that had to do with video poker. I forget what it was. And I seen a slot video and um, it's from somebody that I don't really particularly watch anymore. And I don't like, but after watching that video, I seen John's video pop up and, you know, the wife and I were sitting in the living room one day, you know, on the, the 80 inch TV watching John. And I said, Holy shit. And uh, that's my fault. It is his fault. And then, you know, he, like I said, he had that group pool. So what I would do is I would go to the gold nugget. They have two um, 50 cent Joker poker progressive machines there. And I would go and play those. And before I was even thinking about filming, I have, I don't know, probably a hundred pictures of me hitting these machines. So every time I would hit those machines, I would go into the high limit room and, and there was a game in there that John and I love called Phoenix gold. And I would take half of whatever I won from poker and I would put it in the Phoenix gold machine. And, and I was just hooked after that. And, you know, like I still play poker a lot, but more so focus on slots and it, it's a hundred percent his fault. All this is his fault. What are your comps like at Atlantic City? Um, <clears throat> as far as like offers go, um, they vary because, you know, they go based on play. And there's some months that I go and I don't play big at all. Okay. So the offers go down. But it depends on where we're at. Um, you know, Golden Nugget is pretty much whatever we ask for, they give us. Uh, you know, same thing with Bally's. Um, whatever I ask them for, they give me, you know. But normal, you know, at Bally's, I get $400 in free play. Theirs is every day, which is nice. And gold oh, nugget, nice. you know, it goes between $300, $500. Last month, it was down to like 100 bucks because I didn't didn't go a lot. Okay, let's get on to your channel now. How long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, I really don't know. I'd have to look on there and see. I think I started the channel in <clears throat> 2019, maybe. And, you know, that John was right. like, you should you should start the channel. And I didn't, I didn't post anything. And it was, you know, I think my first 2,500, 3,000 subscribers were solely based on John just telling people to go subscribe to my channel. And then I started actually posting videos and like taking it seriously. Guiding you, did you ever look at uh, YouTube as a way to make money? Or was it just always, hey, I'm just going to have fun, put my shit out there and See, see what happens. Um, in the beginning, I thought that, you know, hey, can maybe make money doing this. But it, it's it's really just a hobby for me. You know what I mean? Like I, I screwed up in the beginning of the channel and then it, it kind of, you know, I let it fall off. And, and it's just it's more of a hobby now. Question for you. If you were to start your channel now, would you do it high limit slots? Absolutely not. I would not. OK, why is that? <clears throat> so, and that was my biggest screw up is I started out, you know, playing high limit and doing all that stuff, not realizing how much money it took to sustain that level of play for that long of time. And I think okay. that that happens to a lot of people. And, you know, you see a lot of channels that go away, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, I don't play, I never played crazy. Like I wasn't playing hundred dollar machines and whatnot, but you know, it takes a lot of money to play 10 and $25 games the way that we like to go and film, you know what I mean? If you, if you want to get 15 videos, you know what I mean? You got to go down there with some, you know, you know, $15,000. Right from the start. Um, yeah. Whatever you're going to, whatever you're going to do, you know, look, you can, I watch people that play penny machines, you know what I mean? Because it's a game that I like and, and I know it's the excitement. If you, if your, your bankroll allows you to play penny machines or nickel machines or 10 cent denom games at $5 a spin, 
do that. You know what I mean? Don't do like what I did and, and, you know, start playing hundred dollar machines. And in the next video I'm playing a dollar machine and everybody's calling me a jerk off in the comments. Like, Oh, you must've ran out of money because now you're, you know what I mean? So just do what's comfortable for you. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I love the, you know, I'm a gambling junkie. I love putting, you know, five grand in a hundred dollar machine and taking a chance. I mean, there's no greater feeling in the world, but I can't do that six, seven, eight times a week. It's just, it's just, I don't have it. You know what I mean? I'm not like one of these fucking million dollar channels and you know what I mean? Like I work for my money. Like it's important to me, you know, gambling is not a winning proposition. It's really not. You know what I mean? Like last year was was my worst year ever, you know, and I, and I'm not, afraid to share this, you know, just on at the golden nugget alone. It's not counting the other places that I played last year. And I play a lot online. I had $372,000 in hand pay slips from last year. And my loss, my win loss statement showed a loss of $79,000. Wow. So there's wow. no like, and you know, you yeah. see me hit big jackpots, but they're going right back in. So but here's, here's a question I have you have for you right on that that topic out of all of that okay so you said how much was the the win loss statements seventy nine thousand okay so you lost seventy nine thousand did you make that up in youtube revenue not even close what's been the toughest part for you in in doing a channel um it's literally for me it's finding the time to edit and upload the videos. Like when we talked on the phone the other day, like I have videos that I haven't posted from two years ago. Um, okay. you know, pre COVID Mark's birthday party, Jerry's birthday party that I just, and I'm very sloppy with it. You know what I mean? Like I'll post a video and I won't d- delete the video out of my, my file. And then I'll shit that I post this video already. And then I'll get discouraged and I won't post it. And that's the biggest challenge for me is just finding the time to sit down for three hours and say, okay, I'm going to focus just on YouTube. And, you know, I have enough videos to last to the end of the year. I don't even have to go to the casino. 